What's up YouTube, Anatomy here again with again another Spyro video. This time, the Spyro is back, he's better than ever, new combat, uh, I will start it back at the end of the cutscene we, le we left off at, so uh, enjoy. Now, now son, keep your head up, your nose clean, and use that breath of yours wisely. All gifts come with a price. Don't listen to your father's preaching, Spyro. Just be yourself. It's all any of us can do. <laughs> Loading. So, hard as it was, Spyro left the only family he'd ever known and journeyed on to where he did not know. See you, monkey. Get out from there. <laughs> push through this. Get out from there, monkey. I will kill you. I have a spider out of the Yes. Oh shit, I'm running. Right. Yeah. Oh, they're gone. <laughs> Spider creature. X, X to the long and hold to glide. Okay. Spyro. So, uh, me and the old man were chatting, and this whole belonging thing, you know, came up, and we decided that best friends belong together, even if one of them is purple and does have some weight issues. <laughs> weight issues, huh? Well, at least I've never been turned into a lantern. Oh, please, lantern schmantern. Let's see what's out there. <laughs> This is funny. Sparks is funny. Oh no! I didn't do the jump. Jump! Jump! There we go. Oh no! There we go. Oh man, I killed both of them. That's what you call a combo. Baboon! Fire breath. 
to the moment that Spyro's journey really began. Maybe when he and I finally, finally met again for the very first time. Oh, it's a long story. And I thought you were a big one. Goodness. You're... You're alive. But it's too late. Too late. T too late for what? Who are you? Do you know me? Where do I come from? What are you? What are we? What am I? You mean you don't know? Does it sound like he knows? You're a dragon. When you were just an egg, it was my job to protect you. It was my job to protect all of you. There were others? Others? They were. There were four of us. Guardians, that is. And we had one job. Ensure that all the eggs were hatched. It was the year of the dragon after all, and our very survival depended on those eggs. But the temple and grotto are now gone. Overrun by... Temple? What temple? Can you take me? Can I see it? Where I came from, I mean? No, no. Who knows what forces occupy the temple now? What state it's in? You don't understand. After they came for you, they? Well, who is they? And, and why did they come for me? Because the prophecies spoke of a purple dragon. A dragon born only once every ten generations. You. You. Does that mean him? Wait. This guy, Spyro, some special once in a purple thing? <laughs> I think you might have uh, mixed that one up. Whoa, that's a little bit of a stretch. I've heard some uh, doozies in my day, but that takes the cake. Spyro, is it? Well, Spyro, I assure you that I'm telling you the truth. That our is attacked, intent on destroying the eggs and killing the rest of us. And they nearly succeeded. And then they lay siege to the other islands. We were at the war. Flashback. Ooh, it's getting intense here. <laughs> For many years, we fought all over the islands. Cultural clashes with the armies of the Dark Master, who was intent on preventing the prophecies from coming true. Not a few guardians and I led our small prevailing forces into battle after battle against our ruthless mercenary foe. Yeah, you had me at ferocious. Listen, sounds like that thing that was chasing us, Spyro. Yes, she's doing searches for me. And years ago, I watched a single plot to the Guardians from the fields of battle, like some black creeps from a vine. Without them, our cause is lost. Only I, Ignatus, managed to escape. What did it matter? Cinder now rules all, and I sit here wondering what might have been, what else I might have done. Wow. Well, that's it for today, folks. So, uh, please comment, rate, like, subscribe, etc. We will continue with this next video.